today. Today we're going to check out a new LED floor lamp that was sent to me by a company and it looked pretty cool. So I thought, you know what, let's check it out. I'm going to unbox it, hook it up, show you how to put it together, and then I'll give you a demo of how well it looks. Model is HCP051. It has 30 LEDs total. You can see the lights around the entire lamp. It does come with a remote control and then it also connects to their app and you can control everything with their app itself. Of course, this is RGB, only uses six watts of power, which is next to nothing. All right, let's go ahead and see what you get. This is for a pair of these, so you get two in the box, which is nice. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for choosing me. Looks like a pretty cool item. Hopefully it looks as good as the pictures. Here is basically the lamp shade, and this is what you're gonna see the light through. These are the tubes that are gonna hold the LEDs. All right, here's the base of the lamp. Definitely has some weight to it, so those, these will not be super easy to knock over, which is good. Now these are gonna be the top of the lights that holds everything together. And here you have the remote control itself. It does come with a battery pre-installed, which is good. And we'll check out a bunch of these modes after I get it set up and ready to be used. Here are some clips that's going to help install everything. Here are the two power cords. And then there's little clips here that's going to connect your cover to the whole entire unit. Along with a little bit of double sided 3M tape. So these are powered by USB, so there is no actual wall plugs included. So you either have to have a wall plug already, which almost everybody already does. So you can also hook this up to a battery pack and the LEDs draw so, such a little power that it'll last quite a while if you want to kind of have a if you want to kind of have it as a neater, cleaner setup. All right, I am going to show you how to put this all together. All right, so first we have to roll this up and basically get the tube together. And it recommends that you use rubber bands to hold the tube together as you're uh, using the 3M tape. Now the rubber bands are not included, which would have been nice. I happen to have a couple laying around, so I wish they would have included the little rubber bands to make this easier. Let's see how hard or easy it's gonna be to get this all lined up because we're going to use some of these to connect it together. So it's a little bit tricky to be honest. You have to roll this up and there's 3M tape on the other side. So you have to peel back the strip and then as you're going down, you just line up these dots and then we'll connect it all together with these little pins. Let me try to get that. So just do a little bit at a time, line it up, get the hole lined up and then push it down to make it stick. All right, there we have it, one tube. In all honesty, that was a little bit more difficult than I expected, but not that bad. I will say just based off of this, um, if you're buying this for your, your kid for like his gaming room, and they're say under 10 years old, they're probably gonna have trouble getting this together. So you'll probably have to do it yourself, but there's the first one. Okay, now you're going to align your LED tape. And you're going to run it down the bracket. You want to grab your base. Okay, so it is double sided. So you're going to put one on the front and one on the back. 
there we go. Now you have, sorry, you can't see it all. I'll set this on the ground when I demo and you'll be able to see the whole thing. Make sure your plug is sticking out. Now you want to slide your sleeve over the entire unit. And you want to have this notch at the bottom. All right, guys, there we have it. Let me go ahead and set it in the corner. I'll plug it in and we'll see just how good this guy looks. Now I will say, as you can see, this guy is probably three, three and a half feet tall. Now, personally, I hate when companies do this. They make these things look massive. This looks like it's at least six feet tall. So I don't like that when these companies do that. I know a lot of companies do do that, but I just wanted to point that out, that these look like they're really, really tall, but they're really only about three and a half to four feet tall total. All right, guys, so that took about 27 minutes total to get one of them done. So quite a while, like I said, I wouldn't expect young kids to be able to put this together. So here we go, let's check out the color system. When you plug it in, it goes right to white. And let's uh, see what yellow, green, L, what is L? Light blue, I guess. Blue, pink, red, and then you can set it to do like party mode. It's called sweet, whatever that is. Cool. All right, that one's cool, I like that. Flow, that's even cooler. That's even cooler than cool. Chase, I like that too, that's pretty quick. And then roll, roll's neat too. And it looks like you can change the speed of the roll too, let's see, I'm gonna turn it down. See how it's a little bit slower? Let me turn off this light to give you a better look at it. As you can see, here's the brightness. Looks like about seven settings. Let's go back to the flow mode. I think that's pretty cool. Definitely adds some coolness to your kid's gaming room. Once again, this is for a pair of these, which is really nice. Most companies only give you one. I believe these are around the $60 price range for the pair. And I think I have a coupon, which I'll link down in the description to get it a little bit cheaper for you. So if you're interested in that, just check out that link. If you have any other questions, let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.